It has finally happened. It has finally happened! We have the horns! We have the horns and antlers now to go along with the hooves, the ears, and the adorable tails that Kalino has created. So, you guys, we can have moose! We can have moose, we can have deer, we can go ahead and put antler on our unicorns if we care to do that, except maybe not because, well, no, actually, the unicorn horns are a different type of accessory, so yes, yes, we could. We could indeed have moose unicorn if one was you know, desiring to go ahead and mix those genetics here in The Sims 4 Random Labarkatory Challenge, where I would like to introduce all of you to Spicy the Moose. And yes, so once again, Kalino has done it with her amazing custom content, and she has created the horns and antlers that you can now find if you go over and you check out her Patreon for early access release. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's gonna let you go ahead. It's gonna let you have a whole bunch of antlers. Look at the color selection she has given us right out of the gate. Oh, be still my heart. We are gonna be able to have so much fun tossing these tiny little twig antlers and these humongous horns onto our, uh, wow, that's actually really cool. Okay, maybe we do need a unicorn. <laughs> maybe we do actually need a, uh, a, a unicorn moose. I wasn't expecting that result, but here we are. <laughs> But you can get those, you can get the hooves, you can get the tails, and actually now a brand new beautiful mane that she has also released over on her Patreon. So be sure to go and check her out over there and give her some support if you can, because oh my goodness, what would our laboratory be without her? Oh, not nearly so exciting, that's the answer. So, without further ado, friends, it is time. It is time to see what our little foals are going to be today, and it is time to go ahead and to create some crossbreeds, this time with none other than one of your guys' horses! Holy, holy, holy cow plants. Um, Remember when I said, you know, you guys, I kind of, I wonder if it would be really fun to go ahead and go onto the gallery and then we could go ahead and have a hashtag and you could just put like a Siri horse and then I might go ahead and, you know, dig out whatever happens to be in here. Um, yeah, there's actually a ton of things on, it says no results. It's lying. It's lying. There's, there's actually quite a bit. <laughs> If you go over here, I broke my gallery. That's the problem. I broke it earlier, but there's a lot hiding in there. It doesn't look like it at the moment, but I promise you there is. And as a result, I actually ended up getting quite a few of your guys' horses using, to be fair, a random generator. I counted the beautiful number of them, many of which include drafts that you guys have made. Uh, and I went ahead and had the random generator actually pick from among your guys' horses. And I think that that is the way that I might start doing quite a few of these things in the future, because you all are making some absolutely beautiful and amazing creatures that I would be delighted to go ahead and have in our random pets laboratory, uh, including Belle Jessica Skeers. Thank you so much for sending us Stag. He is glorious and he is the one that actually got picked by the random generator today. So without further ado, my friends, meet Stag! What kind of horse is he? I don't know. By doing this, I'm free to either follow what you guys tell me they are or just be able to go, he is a horse, of course, which is a relief as I continue to try to quiz myself on, uh, you know, all the different horse breeds, the different colors, the, the patterns they come in, when it's a breed and not a pattern. There's a lot to learn and I'm enjoying it, but <clears throat> I would I would like to just go ahead and enjoy making adorable, beautiful little crossbreed foals with all of you. So uh, this is definitely a fantastic way to get that done, especially considering I fell in love with our zebra mixes and we absolutely have to be doing more. Okay, all of that said, Stag is a defiant, brave, and needy, beautiful mixed breed mystery horse, uh, who when he popped in, I actually went ahead and I added some of the forelocks that Kalino actually just finished making. I believe she made like one of these, I think she made this one right here, and I just fell in love with it. So I like the idea that Stag kind of swaggered in uh, and wanted just like a little bit of a poof on his foreman, or on his, um, Oh, gosh, gosh, heckin' no, 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 forelock, there we go. I knew I was going to, like, forget that because there's so many different words for the parts of the horse that has hair. <laughs> oh, but Stag, welcome. You guys are welcome to guess whatever breed and coloration, patterning, etc. he is, but I'm going to go ahead 
and snap on my safety goggles and put on those boots because there's a lot of manure going on, trust me. I just finished up a Ranch Riches episode and boy howdy did that ever get exciting. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of curious crossbreeds some of you guys might become today. Well, we go ahead and we mix Spicy the Moose with, uh, with Stag the Beautiful Horse. Phew. And now that I went ahead and remembered to actually write down the uh, the genome for all of the different colors that might show up on some of these patterns, we are ready to go, my friends. So let's break out that petri dish and see what kind of curious crossbreed we are going to create next. Dun 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 dun. dun. So without further ado, spicy stag, I would like both of you to go ahead and welcome your little filly. Oh, she is randomized. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. So this is actually the filly we're going to go with because it was said to pick the first one uh and she's really freaking cute so far i like her i like her and this little one is actually going to be a champion after champion farm and you know what i'm gonna add the farm to the last name because i love the way that horses sometimes have funky names like that uh and champion farm you are going to be a free spirit who is needy and mellow and i am so glad that you were enjoying watching as we dive in on so many randomly generated creatures and add to the chaos and i very much like your idea of doing a unicorn and a peacock appaloosa that that sounds amazing that really does i i am going to admit i have a uh, a big soft spot for the peacock appaloosa coloring if you guys remember our um Rival Stars episodes. Yeah, let's just say I got a little bit obsessed. But all right, let me go ahead and we're going to go and give you your appropriate genomes now that I'm, you know, reading everything right now. So you're actually going to be this reddish color right here. And then you're going to be this one. Oh, this is interesting. You actually inherited most of your colorations. Let me freshen up the... There we go. You inherited most of your colorations from... Wow. Oh, 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 that one is actually supposed to be this one. And then here we go. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, the dice of destiny are rolling and I'm, oh, wow. <gasps> you guys, look at how cute Champion Farm turned out. Even with that moose kind of base tone, look at all of this coloration. This is adorable. All right, Champion Farm. Now, when you grow up is when we see whether or not you develop, you know, the antlers. You already have the hooves, obviously. Uh, or if you're going to end up um, having the moose tail. The moose tail being the tiniest tail I could possibly find. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see. You know what? Actually, Pixabiologist, I have a very important question for all of you. Why don't moose have long tails? Horses have long tails to help them like swat away insects, right? Why don't moose have long tails? They swim. Beavers swim. Beavers have long tails. I need answers. I need answers. I, I, I would love to know your guys' theories. But for now, we need to go ahead and get a move on. Huh. With so many of the genes to like figure out, it does take a minute to move our way through. And we're going to have another filly this time. Uh, and then we're going to randomize... Oh, here's number one, but we're going to randomize to the second one. <gasps> She's still with us. Oh my gosh, we get some of these little spots. And this is actually going to be... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my gosh, Crimson. <laughs> Weren't you just in the last one, Crimson? Oh my word. Well, you know what? We're just going to have to have Crimson the second. Like, I live by what the random generators say. And somehow out of like more than a couple hundred, like choices your name got plucked again so I, I hope you know it's your lucky day this time around you're going to be a defiant independent free spirit and let's see what your colorations will be dun, dun, dun. so you're actually going to be it <gasps> Whoa, look at those spotty dots. I didn't know those spotty dots would be hiding in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's very exciting. And then you're going to have these darker tones here. Oh, you guys, this is exciting. Very pretty. You're also going to have the darker brown here. You're kidding. Okay, look, writing down like all of the colors that you could possibly inherit from both parents and then using dice to decide which parent and what color you inherit from is forever and always going to be the superior way to create any of our pets in our pets laboratory challenge from now on because this is just this is just too good there you go crimson the second i'm so in love i'm almost speechless again like 
Look at those spots. My eyes feel like they are just legitimately sparkling. I could probably light up a cave right now. Oh, spicy. And now we have stag. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, actually, you guys are going to have a cult and it's going to be exactly this one. <laughs> And this little cult is actually going to be Barton after Brinley Bar Brittany Barton. Par pardon me, Brittany. And you suggest breeding a zebra with absolutely any horse breed and making like a galaxy spirit protector line. Okay, that's actually kind of cool because like what about the idea of space horses? If we were going to make space horses and they were going to be like galaxy fancy horses, what if they belong to aliens? What would an alien horse look like using the tools that we have available? I'm thinking those tiny multicolored antlers that Kalino just created for us. That's what I'm thinking. But all right, let's go ahead and we're going to change your coloration. I'm really glad that even with the, the way that you mostly end up inheriting, or you have like the moose tone here, because of the way that we're doing the color inheritance, it's actually going to look unique from each one. Yay! All right, and then the next one's going to be this color here. Oh, Barton, look at you! I don't know if you'll keep the, <laughs> the multicolored hooves uh, as, you, as you age, but we'll have to see. Oh, I totally forgot to give you a personality. I'm so sorry. You are an aggressive, mellow, free spirit. I can't, is that like passive aggressive then? If you're aggressive and you're also mellow, are you telling me that you're just really, really passive aggressive? Because that seems to be like what I'm being told here. And now we're, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next little one. This is going to be a filly. We're gonna randomize three more times. One, two, and three. <gasps> Hello! So she has pink hooves right now. Don't panic. I don't think those are going to be sticking around uh, as she ages. In fact, I should probably go ahead and just while we're in here. Ugh, I love the new like random hoof color stuff, but it really does make it a little tricksy when it's like non-naturalistic coloration. In any case, this is going to be Blaze. Blaze, hello. You are going to be an aggressive, independent, and brave little foal. Um, you know what? I think that those are all great traits to have if you're going to be brave. Being kind of aggressive so you can protect someone and being like independent so you'll go your own way. As a herd animal, that's probably really hard, so I can applaud that. And Blaze, you suggest Peacock Appaloosa. You guys have found my weakness. It is indeed the Peacock Appaloosa and a giraffe. And I have to tell you guys, I kind of teared up a little bit earlier and I had to go run to my husband Chips and I, I did my little thing where I was too happy to talk. So I just kind of like swung in place with teary eyes and he was like, what happened? And I was like, darling, darling, I told everybody they could use the Siri, like a horse hashtag on, on the Sims 4 gallery and I didn't think anybody was going to do it. And people did it and, and then, and then they made so many giraffes, darling. And he was tickled and I am tearing up again because it was just such a delight. So thank you guys for doing that because it truly made my day and I cannot wait to go ahead and have more of your horses and more of your giraffes for our crossbreeds. For now, Blaze, let's go ahead and find out what you're going to have. So you're actually going to take this color on, followed by rolling the dice of destiny. And again, I've explained it to you guys before, but if you're like, Siri, how on earth are you doing this? I wrote down like one and two to represent each parent. And then I wrote down one through six for the colors. And then I wrote down like this base from the moose has four color patterns. So I just wrote down the colors that the horse or that the moose could possibly pass on. So when I roll two dice, right now it says four, three. So four, three would mean, okay, four is an even number. So this is going to be a color inherited from stag or horse. And it's going to be his third color gene, which is actually white. <laughs> so that's how I do it. Cause I've had a lot of you guys actually asking me about that. Um, and then it's gonna be this color right here. Oh, Blaze. Oh, Blaze, you're looking cute. You're looking so cute. I wonder if we'll end up with more spotty little ones. Let's pull up the next random comment from the random comment generators. And we're gonna go ahead and... But yeah, I hope explaining it like that uh, let you guys know how you too could make some of these adorable little ones as unique as possible. Because otherwise the Sims 4 genetics isn't gonna do squat for you. But all right, let's go ahead. We're gonna randomize four more times. One, two, 
three, four, whoops, okay, whoop, oh, is this it? Yes, this is it! I know it didn't change, but I did hit the button that many times. And this one is actually going to be none other than Olivia. Olivia, welcome, welcome. Uh, Olivia Satori, actually, and there we go. I think that sounds like a really cool horse name. And you are going to be mellow and defiant and quite intelligent. Horses are a contradiction unto themselves, I'm finding. <laughs> and we're going to see what your genes are going to be real quick. So, do 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 do. You're actually going to have this color. Whoops, is it a color? It's, oh, actually, it's this color. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's really pretty. Woo, and then you're gonna have white. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes, okay, I really, really love that patterning. Uh, and then we're actually going to have... No way, you are so pretty. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I love when we get these colors because I love them so much. Uh, let's see, okay, so we actually need... Um, so that's this color right here. Livia. Livia. You're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. And Livia, I'm so sorry. I got so distracted by how gorgeous your horse is. I forgot to note, you suggest a unicorn or a zebra. Very highly popular. Uh, or a space horse and a zebra. That is another space horse we have had requested. I am staring into literal empty space well actually okay i don't know if the space could be considered empty since there are air particles there and at some point in the distance outside my window is a beautiful crepe myrtle bush blooming outside of my window uh but in any case i'm staring into the distance wondering what a space horse looks like and i think we will have to have you guys put into the siri hashtag the answer to that i will i will allow you to go ahead and bring your research to me my wonderful laboratory assistants and now we're going to go ahead and we are going to welcome in the last of our little ones. This one's actually going to be a cult. We're going to randomize. We're. Uh. <coughs> randomize. What did I mean? No, 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 no. It was a one. It was a one, not a two. It was totally a one. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just used up like a bunch of my like street cred sciency points. But look at the two colors right there. Oh my goodness. I can't resist. This one is way too cute. Okay, so and this one's little name is Weeb. Weeb, I think we just had you like as another horse I could swear or some sort of animal as well. The random generator is really liking you guys right now. Uh, and Weeb the second, you are going to be brave, aggressive, and independent. So I think you are going to go out with Blaze and you two are just going to like have a beautiful, blazing, glorious trail of victories. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and set your color tones. So let's see, first one is actually going to be white. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then the next one's going to be this color, followed by, let's see. All right, then it's gonna be cream. <laughs> I'm so excited every time I see the cream. Oh, and then white again. Okay. Okay. That made me really happy, because you're really pretty. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna get old because they just look so beautiful. So thank you very much, Stag and Stag's wonderful owner, for having gone ahead and contributed your wonderful genes to my moose, which is, I actually made this moose based off of Kalino's red deer, and I just went to town doing the best I could with what I had to make a moose. I'm actually very proud of this, so you will be seeing this moose in the future, my friends. But for now, let's go ahead and see if the Dice of Destiny say whether or not these little ones ended up inheriting the moose antlers and the moose tail or not. Champion Farm, you're up first. Looking beautiful. Looking absolutely beautiful. Wow. Kind of like a sunset. You know, like those pictures people paint of the mountains and sunsets? That's kind of what this pattern, this gradient color sort of reminds me of. Oh, there you go, Champion. And I love your forelock. Like, it's just so long now. Oh. Okay, I could spend forever just like admiring each and every one of the horses we're making too. Crimson the second. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, you're very pretty too. You have that bigger stockier body. You didn't end up inheriting either of them either. Oh, but your colors. Oh, but your colors. I, I'm very happy. I'm smiling from ear to ear right now. I love it, Crimson. Um, 
I have to force myself to keep going or else this will just be like a, 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 a video that lasts forever. Uh, but now we, we have actually, finally, the first one to actually inherit some of the, the uh, proper moose, like antlers. There we go. Yay, there you go, Barton. You got the moose antler, but you did not get the moose tail. You look like... You don't look like a moose. You look too sweet to be a moose. <laughs> and you are very mellow, so you actually more look like a horse who accidentally stuck their head in where the moose, uh, like, the moose antlers happened to be. Like, they, you just got them stuck on your head. That's adorable. Blaze, you're up next, my dear. And then you, you got both of them, Blaze! Wow, okay, like, that mane seems to really be taking over, which is interesting, but, you know, I'm not gonna judge, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, but you actually inherited both of these, so let's get you those, wow, those antlers, and then let's go ahead and we're gonna give you the teensy tiny nub tail! Okay, that's kind of hilarious. I wonder, I'm just gonna go ahead and see, like, what happens if we change the mane style just a touch, out of curiosity? Just out of, out of some curiosity. Or actually, I guess, does Moose... Okay, that's funny. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll give you your mane back. But that's what it is. That's what takes away from the Moose look is when you have a mane. I didn't know that that's the effect that it would have. Olivia, you're up next. Olivia. Oh, look how cute you are. Olivia, you are so pretty. And you actually ended up inheriting the tail, but you did not... So you have this teensy little tail, Olivia! Oh no, how are you going to keep all of the flies away from biting you now? Aw, I hope that you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, good, because I don't want you to get nibbled. Aw, but there you go, Olivia. You're stunning. I have to hurry, or else I could stay here all day. Weeb. Weeb, my dear. You, too, ended up inheriting the antlers, but not the tail. I am tickled by that. Let's see if I can get you a fun... Oh yeah, this color matches really well. Alright, what, what is on your... <laughs> you did not inherit the tail, it said. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Alright, no! Okay, we needed the antlers, but not the little, the little tail bit. Um, and actually, I wonder if this, like... Is that one of my custom content means? No, it's not. It's just like... There we go. Alright, I want that. I want that, because this is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys! I love the results of this, a lot! I, I could spend way too long just admiring all of our little crossbreeds. <laughs> oh my goodness. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and add them to our genetic library and uh, go and see what else you guys have waiting for me over in the Sims 4 gallery. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our lovely horses. They do need some snacks after all. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, including ones where you too could become a random crossbreed, then all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Stay curious everyone. Bye-bye!